Hello everybody and welcome back to some pocket incoming and today guys we're going to be talking about hoo-ho. Sorry if I'm a little agitated. <sighs> I hate having to come at 2.30 in the morning. Literally a.m. 2.30 a.m. to all I want to do is shower before I do a video. And, and literally you would think of nobody be in the bathroom and my uncle comes in and literally goes in the bathroom. It, it's so frustrating to the one time I don't go in there all day the one time I want to literally every time I can't even take a shower without someone knocking on the door it's so frustrating ah <sighs> whatever here we go guys sorry about that but um all for all you who wish me well thank you <clears throat> I don't feel 100% I'm about 90 about 90% a little better than yesterday I'm not coughing as much. My throat doesn't hurt as much, thankfully. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about hoo-ho. So, uh, or ho-ho, or whatever, How, however people say it. Okay, so um, just a little background story for ho-ho. Uh, <clears throat> he's basically, in Pokemon, he's basically, I guess, like a god. Um, he was the one who, uh, they had three digi uh, uh, Pokemon that... Um, perished in the brass tower um, and he revived them and there uh, they actually had that in his kit which I thought was very very cool uh, and the three um, Pokemon he that he I, I don't want to say brought back because they didn't they didn't state who the Pokemon were that died um, but he, they, they are now Entei, Suicune, and Raikou. Uh, there's theories that the Three Pokemon that might have perished might have been Eevee evolutions corresponding to the, you know, element. So like, you know, Flareon, you know, Jolteon, whatever. And I guess it would be Vaporeon or unless it's the Ice version I don't know about because I'm not that much of an expert in it. But, um, yeah, so those would be the corresponding, you know, elements that, the, uh, that um, they came from. So... In the story, I mean, I guess he comes, like, he, he, they say that he's supposed to see the person who's the de destined trainer, like, he reveals himself to the destined trainer who's supposed to kind of unite Pokemon and, um, humans, uh, and that's said that we're thought it meant to be Ash because Ash did see him, so I'm guessing that's, like, you know, the, the lore behind it, but after they revealed it, they didn't really go much into it. So, you know, they were like, yeah, it's there. There you go. So, um, that's the little bit of background behind it. Uh, oh. But we're going to be disabilities. So, all right. So his first ability is Sky Attack. Ho Ho flies around a single enemy and attacks heavily to deal 100% of physical, da uh, physical attack, uh, plus 6,048 physical damage and inflict a layer of holy burn to the target dealing a true damage of 40% physical attack now he's a physical attacker which is great um at the at, in the beginning when I started this I had all special attackers except for um Entei so like every single person I had was a physical attacker and I was like okay I have to drop some people because I have way too much special attack uh, and he was like my first heavy hitting physical attacker, so it was awesome. But the Holy Burn is great because you've all um, this game does last longer. So the la the longer this game lasts, the better the burn damage is. That's with any type of ticking damage or anything that you get. Uh, any type of layering burn is awesome because it, it'll burn you over time. And 40% of the physical attack is actually great of the true physical attack, true damage of physical attack. So the higher he goes, the stronger the burn is. So it's awesome. Uh, Sacred Fire is another one. It's a line ability. Ho-Ho gathers flames, uh, waves on his wings to attack the enemy in a column to deal 160% physical attack, 
uh, plus 6,048 physical da uh, physical damage, increasing 20% physical attack for two rounds, and deals one stack of Holy Burn for two rounds, and deals Holy Fire Enhancement to itself. Holy Fire Enhancement when, en when enemies with Holy Burn attack itself, damage lowers by 15%. Uh, lo lowers by 20% after Nirvana. I'm not sure what Nirvana is, but I mean this is a great move. Uh, it, just putting the stack of Holy Burn is always is always great. I mean, and the Holy Fire Enhancement is really great too. So uh, I usually open the like the battles with this ability at least when I do like you know anything that allows me to to actually activate my character my uh, you know Pokemon's abilities. But that's usually what I do, is I, I open up with this move. It's great for starting off, and I mean, when you get the Holy Fire Enhancement, and uh, also get it to stack with the Holy Burn, it's nice. So. Uh, here's uh, his ultimate, it's called Flying Phoenix. This move is deadly. A hole flies into the sky, and school is... Wait, wait, wait. No. Okay. And on my screen, it looks like that says Scoots with a C, but on my... On my like actual phone screen it looks a lot cleaner i don't know why it looks horrible on my face <laughs> okay and shoots a sunshine like beam from the mouth to attack all enemies to deal 180 percent physical attack plus 15,120 physical damage and inflicts a layer of holy burn to all targets for two uh for two rounds inflicts holy bird's blessing on to an allied Pokemon. I had to look at the, the, the phone again because I actually can't see the T's thing. Okay, we're just gonna read from the phone. To an allied Pokemon, uh, except itself. An allied Pokemon in the front row will be preferred. When this Pokemon gets knocked out, it will become a Phoenix Egg, which will be broken after being attacked six times. If it's not broken, it will revive at the end of the next round. After the rebirth, it recovers 50% uh, HP and 30% rage. Holy Bird's Blessing can be triggered only once in a battle. Now, this is why when I reviewed Mewtwo, I said that he's a little stronger in Mewtwo than battles. This egg is brutal. And I mean like brutal. Hold on, let me just see this real quick. Effect targets that receive the holy blessing can retain full hp and all rage wow that's fucking broken that is broken people i'm sorry before we get to the actual battle i forgot to do his passive it i'm actually doing this after the video i'm stupid uh, so let's just read his passive so that we can go back to the video um ho ho is passive after being defeated it resurrects from nirvana with 64.8 percent hp and fully restores its rage it adds one stack of Holy Burn to all enemy targets for two rounds and also increases the 20% of ultimate damage reduction permanently and two rounds of Sacred Fire Enhancement. Uh, basically for this, this is crazy good. Uh, after being defeated at Resurrects, which is basically his, like his version of resurrecting himself because he resurrects somebody else and himself. And uh, it re fully restores his rage. So when, as soon as he comes back, he's ulting you. Like the whole field so he usually just did, like alts right after he coming back one stack of holy burn to uh, all enemies for two rounds which means they all get the holy burn damage so you know every 40 percent of his physical attack and uh and also increases to 20 percent ultimate damage reduction and permanently so uh his t basically he gets a reduction from any of them ulting him so he takes less damage from everyone's ult which is you know awesome Back to the video. Jesus Christ, I almost forgot. Holy. Okay. Uh, we're gonna... Uh, I forgot to show you Mewtwo's abilities, but, like, I, I figured, like, I didn't have to show you it because, like, I figured everyone's seen it by then, but I, for, I apologize. But we'll do one battle just so I could show you. Oh, I got first place now. Um, I, I was being stupid because I wasn't leveling the right way, and then when I figured out the level the right way, I, I took first place. That's pretty much it. I was just being stupid. Stupid face. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? I, I guess, yeah, I forgot. Okay, but this is brutal because, uh, I'm gonna, to, hold on, I'm gonna make it slower and everything because I don't want it to skip everything. 
Um, where is it? Do, 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 do. Don't. Okay, there and then that. Okay. So, um, yeah, this th this is why I think he's better in terms of. Uh, I'll do 2x. In terms of like tank, I'll say. Ho Ho has a thing where when you turn into this egg, you could be revived. Now, the thing about this egg is that no matter whether it's small damage, high damage, it always takes one point of damage. But this egg can soak up your ultimate. Now, if you have several forms of damage on your ultimate, it does stack two of it. So if like you have like a true damage form and then like a normal damage form, it will stack two times. But normally doesn't do that. So when usually when going like against people, that egg soaks up so much damage that it's basically like it, it just basically destroys you. Like this egg, basically, if you hit hard and you hit like a several people in a row, like let's say your front whole front line, this egg, this egg will take up all of your damage and basically waste your ultimate. So there's a lot of rounds where it just wastes your ultimate because you basically just hit this egg and it soaked up everything, which is why it's brutal. Now in a one-on-one -on -one battle, Mewtwo probably has it. The shield, I mean, he doesn't do enough damage to um, beat him on one-on-one -on -one because his ultimate usually hits everybody and, you know, it's not enough damage for a single, like, burst type person. So, for the most part, I mean, you know, it's not gonna do that much, but when, uh, going against Mewtwo, he single burst you, hit you really hard, so you're gonna take lots of damage for that single burst. It's gonna, it's gonna chunk the life out of you. So, that's why, for the most part, I mean, you know, like, Mewtwo wins that. And his shield that he gets after ulting is huge, huge, huge. So, like, and also Mewtwo attacks two times in one round because of his passive or ultimate ability to, to like, keep smacking you. So, like, there's times where he can ult you and just smack you again in another round and then smack you again. And it's just like, come on, man, that's not fair. So, like, you know. But that's basically why I say, like, he's brutal. Like, it, 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 like him, by himself, he can, he can carry in team battles really hard. And that's just awesome. I just love it, having him carry. So, for the most part, I mean, you know, that's just how it goes. But that's why, like, I did it and I d did this so you could just see a battle, really. So... That's pretty much why I did a battle. But pretty much, I mean, yeah, that that's why I, like like said, between them two, like, I, I don't know, he, he's really strong. Uh, and his ability to bring people back is just the greatest thing ever. So. But that's why I, able, I was able to come back to, uh, like, uh, in the thing, because I know some people are probably wondering. I was just leveling wrong, to be honest. But yeah, that's pretty much that. Like, I think uh, out of all the ones that are in the game right now, the four that we have, like, because uh, don't, I don't know about the other ones, haven't even seen them, but the four that we have right now in the game, um, I, I have to give it to uh, Mewtwo. Mewtwo's still super good right now, as of right now, from what I've seen in most of the battles, Mewtwo does a lot, so. Uh, but the next one I will be doing is Dialga, but we'll see that when you see that. But yeah, that's the way the damage goes now. Uh, I was just leveling wrong. Yeah, pretty much. It was like what it was. So. But I can't wait for more to come out. What in the... Uh, uh, yeah. uh, I, don't, I don't know what that means. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed though. Uh, hopefully I feel better when... Uh, I don't know. Hopefully I feel better in my next video. Because I feel I feel all. Uh, I mean, actually, I feel better than yesterday, though. But I still... I, I want my voice back. Like, I still hear that I don't have my voice back, so... <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, I love you, though, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.